Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim Special Edition Survival. Now, when we left off, uh, I had given the option up to you guys uh, whether or not we were going to do survival. I had said in the comments, y'all could let me know. Y'all kids disappointed me. Y'all didn't answer at all. But, lucky for you, and for myself, because I kind of wanted to play Skyrim again, I liked my idea. So I'm going to do it. Haha. -ha. So, that's what we're going to do. But I had to backtrack a little bit just to this point, so I could then do it. There we are. Survival adds the need to eat, sleep, and stay warm. It also adds additional challenges, such as no fast travel, reduced carry weight, and leveling up only when you sleep. It will, when enabled, make it so I am now only able to carry half of what I would be able to carry otherwise. Which means most of what I am carrying right now needs to go. Which means mainly two maces. Because really they don't provide me all that much iron anyway. Now on top of that, arrows have weight. Which they didn't have to before. As do lock picks. They did not have weight before. And everything else is relatively the same. More or less. With uh, the addition of standardized weights. It has kind of lowered the weight of every other thing and made it so they're all relatively the same weight. So, there's that. Oh. <laughs> I realize, no! Two <laughs> maces are not enough. I need to get rid of something else. I uh, guess I'll just get rid of the third mace. They don't give me that much iron in the long run. Wait! Whoopsie doodle! Uh-oh. <laughs> Please don't tell me this is where you crash. Please don't tell me this is where you crash. Come on. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> what a start. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can I boot up the menu? I can. All right, so something else is up. I don't know what, but give me a second while I try to figure it out. Well, welcome back. Um, <laughs> uh, it seemed to be a relatively soft crash, so here's hoping it doesn't do that again. Note for people who were worried that that might mean trouble. What it probably was, was due to the fact that I'd have I had had it running on quick resume uh, in the background for a fairly long time. Um, after multiple shutoffs of the system, sometimes it can goof up a little bit. I've noticed with the Series X, and because of that, it can be a little temperamental for all games, not just Skyrim. So, that's on me. I should have just did a fresh restart of the game and then gone from there. Here's hoping that's, uh, that's what I think it is. I also dropped the iron maces in the cave Wait. prior to this. So, here's hoping. Yep, that was correct. That Looks is correct. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. You're not wrong. 
closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. Well, I wouldn't have I mean, made it without your we help. We could do that, or up oh, there. Are some of the uh, the <laughs> actually all of the <laughs> side missions <laughs> that come along with uh, the DLC. Um, that. That, that, that. Yeah. Some of that is worthwhile. Not all of it. Um, before the storm, follow uh, Hadvar for that one. Uh, there's that. There's that. There's that. And there's that. Some of these are creation club quests. Others are not. So, um, uh, yeah, we'll get there when we get there. But for right now, we follow Hadvar. Most everything we pass, I will be collecting later. So don't Listen, worry about me missing out. Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. And I especially really will be like not the rebels have themselves missing out if I can avoid it. Is the only but one at the same time, them. I have a very limited inventory space due to us being on survival. Honestly, in the end game, the more annoying part will be the fast travel part. I will not be able to do that as much as I would like. Where wow. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. Yep. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of Well Didn't think I'd run into this this quickly. Hunger. You are hungry, which reduces your total available stamina. Represented by a dark region in your stamina bar. Hunger also affects how quickly you can attack with weapons. That is the biggest problem that you end up running into if you're hungry. Your weapon swings are so much slower. It is almost beyond detriment. It is, for lack of a better phrase, it is just straight up destroying your ability for combat. So, hunger is definitely something you want to have remedied. So, you eat food to reduce your hunger, obviously. Cooked meals are significantly better at restoring hunger than raw, uncooked food. Eating raw meat may lead to contracting food poisoning. That is a thing you can do. But, because we are Khajiit and of the beast races, Argonians and Khajiit cannot contract food poisoning. They can get damaged by almost everything else when it comes to disease, to diseases and whatnot. But they cannot contract food poisoning. So that is a benefit. It's a fringe benefit, but a benefit. Cooking food is a lot more effective and a lot more useful. You are better off cooking food every chance you get. They are depending on the food you're making. They are an almost better choice than having multiple potions on your person. Almost. Potions are an immediate quick fix if you desperately need them. But depending on the food you make, some foods in particular, uh, like venison stew, vegetable soup, those ones that are going to be very much used in this playthrough, are far more useful in keeping your stamina and health up. So, that is what we will be going with. And that is the plan going forward. So, there you go. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. I bet. Here's the Guardian Stones. 
Of course. These are the Guardian Stones. Yep. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Yep. Go ahead. See for yourself. Yep. Gonna touch the Warrior Stone because we will be doing combat far more often. For now. Warrior. Good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. Thank you. And now we move forward. I'm concerned you've already earned your pardon. Uh -oh. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, all right? Yeah, I can do that. Probably. Can't resist. I have to grab one. I have to grab one of them. And then one of these. Absolutely. All right. I'm following. I'm following. You don't need to stop. There's the other thing. You are tired, which reduces your total available magicka, represented by a dark region in the magicka bar. Fatigue also decreases the how that was a mistype in that FYI. Uh, the how quickly you recover magicka and stamina, and the effectiveness effectiveness of potions, which is also a problem. And I don't know why it would affect the effectiveness of potions, but it is what it is. Sleep in a bed to reduce your fatigue. Sleeping indoors allows for far more restful sleep than sleeping outdoors. Sleeping outdoors will not completely reduce your fatigue. You will still have just a little bit of fatigue after you're done. When it comes to Sleeping indoors, pretty much any area where you load into, um, separate from the main hub world, for lack of a better phrase, will reduce your fatigue uh, to completely gone, and in some cases, restful sleep. But... As we all know, I will probably go with the Companion's Quest line. <laughs> because that gives you a lot of money a lot of quick. Also, there is a Companion we're going to pick up from there. With that in mind... Being a beast... Being a beast, rather... You will not get completely restful sleep you will get to at least refreshed sleep. Refreshed is going to dwindle away very quickly. Restful lasts for far longer. Refreshed is only just barely better than nothing at all. So, that will be our predicament for the majority of the game. With that in mind, I may actually get the cure from being a werewolf. I don't know if I will, but I have a feeling I might be better off if I do. So after the companion's quest line is done, I probably will be fully cured of the werewolf curse. But, that's not something we have to deal with right now. And to show you how much it impacts... Uh, whoops. Well, I might as well show how much it impacts here. After getting hungry, I'm already down 4 points of stamina. And getting tired, I'm already down 1 point of magicka. But, if I go to here, potions... I think it also affects poisons. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, this would usually be 20 points. 
it is now 16. This would usually be 25 points. They are now 20. Just being slightly tired at all reduces the effectiveness of potions. Apparently not poisons, but potions are 20% less effective than their base value. Plus, Magicka and Stamina regenerate 40% slower. That is after just starting to get fatigued. Peckish, which is slightly hungry. Total stamina is reduced. Attacks are 30% slower. And you are 30% less effective with using shields and sneaking. Sneaking is also effective. That's not fun. Cold. Comfortable. You are comfortably warm. That is the best you can be. The more cold you get, it starts to affect your health. And it will gradually decrease it more and more. And you will get worse and worse effects. We'll show you that when we start climbing to Bleak Falls Barrow. But it won't be until then. We got Claws, got Fortify Warmth, which is our Khajiit Blood improves the resistance to cold environments by 15 points. It's not that big a fucking deal, unfortunately. It is not enough to circumvent a good portion of what you'd end up having to deal with. It gives you maybe a little bit of buffer, a little bit of buffer before you start getting cold again. It lasts you maybe five seconds. Five at best. An extra five seconds of warmth. That's it. The raw diet, which is what I explained earlier, allows the Khajiits to eat raw meat without risk of disease. And that covers everything that I can show you for right now. Let me grab these. Being able to make our own potions will also be of great benefit to us you later. To come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. So, the more we're able to do that, the better. And there we go. That. Whoop. Come on, let me grab that. Jesus. Okay, now to follow him the rest of the way in. There we go. Things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. Fair enough. Follow you along. And this little uncle Alvar. Okay. Hello. Hadvar, what are you doing here? Are you on leave from shores, boats? What happened to you, boy? Are you in some Uncle, kind please, of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. That is probably the best you can hope for in this situation. Wait. What? What is it now, mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, must. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. Jesus. Sven is still an asshole. And, uh, warm. I'd actually forgotten about warm. <laughs> warm is actually the best you can be. Comfortable is, you know, not hard. Not hard to reach. Um, it's not the greatest, but it's, it's okay. Warm is the best you can be. Warm is the farthest into your cold resistance that you can be. 
It allows you to pick locks and pockets faster, and you are more resistant to frost damage. Therein is a nice little fun feature. But the other ones I won't be able to show you for a little while. Sigrid, we have company. Sigrid's supposed to start down the stairs, but uh <laughs> game is going to freak out a little bit. Give it a second. Eventually it'll teleport her to where she needs to be. There we go. Hadbar. There I've we go. I've been so worried about you. <laughs> Come, you two must be hungry. Shenanigans. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy. What's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know Kinda I was assigned did. to General Tully as a score. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. <laughs> a dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? No, but I could be. Let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. That's me! I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Yeah. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. Oh, yeah? I'm glad to help however I can. Can you take this wine? Ooh, nice. I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. I appreciate it. But I need your help. We need your help. Of course you do. The dragons are back. Why wouldn't you? Okay, I'll take all this. All of this is now mine. There we go. Ooh, conjuration. Interesting to start with. I confused because usually you don't get something like that. But okay. And a gem, which is one of the uh, gems I was talking about in the mod list. Uh, Vesuvia Knight. It's green, so I like it. So I'm going to keep it. The Yara needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is now I'm caring too much. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Of course. Uh, how do I get there from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, what can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. <laughs> so far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. No, of course not. Which side does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. You support the Empire, then? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. Of course. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Who's Elisif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torik when he was murdered. Ulfric oh. murdered Torik, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. Well, That's I mean... what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. That's fair. What can you tell me about Riverwood? 
Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Fair. Uh, what do you think about the war? People are rightly stirred up about the damn Thalmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Talos. Yeah, that's fair. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Why are the Thalmor allowed to do that? It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Thalmor to outlaw Talos' worship. Mm. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. Of course. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Of course. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Yeah, that I could understand. Okay, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Did you really see a Chicken's dragon? egg. Okay, I'm gonna take like? that. Did it have big teeth? Jesus. She's just gonna be going on and on and on. Okay. Uh, food-wise. I don't have a lot going for me here. But I can eat some of this to uh, alleviate, A, the weight, and B, uh, hunger, which would be nice. Um, red apple. Does that put me where I want? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, where does that put me? Nope, nowhere. Really? Son of a bitch. Okay. Mm. Okay. That was not what I was hoping for. Um, I'm also annoyed that this hasn't uh, alleviated my weight problem at all. Um, conjuration spells. Wasn't really planning on going into conjuration really at all. But at least not in the early game. But I guess if I have it available, might as well. Alright. And then from here on out, I'll well, figure out something else. I'll get back cousin. to work. You two make yourselves at home. Of course. We'll do. Of course, she's cooking food there. And I'm overburdened and moving around. It's going to be slow. Kind of need that. Gold still doesn't have weight, thankfully. If it did, there'd be a bit of a problem. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? A little bit. Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to solitude from here. I'd recommend heading to Whiterun, just down the road from here. From there, you can take a carriage to solitude. Mm -hmm. Who were those other prisoners? Well, you didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. Oh. I don't pay much attention to current events. Oh, right. You were caught trying to cross the border into Skyrim, weren't you? You're not yeah. kidding. Ulfric's the leader of the Stormcloaks. You know, the traitors trying to break Skyrim away from the Empire. Uh, how did you capture him? A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. Hmm. This time, the General turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right ah, into our ambush with tables. only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly, too. So much for his death or glory reputation. Well, you know. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil. But I guess the general changed his mind. You know the rest. That I do. That I do. Who are the Stormcloaks? You haven't heard of the civil war in Skyrim? Eh. I guess down in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. Generally. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago, as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. 
He's always used the ban on the worship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support. So a few months ago, he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention. Whoa. That was a few months ago? You really think I should join the Imperial Legion? Of course. I know today wasn't the best introduction to the Legion, but yeah. I hope you'll give us another chance. The Legion could really use someone like you, especially now. And if the Rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Mm hmm You think he knows where that dragon came from? No, not yet. After all, a dragon, something out of old tales and legends, no one could have expected that. Yeah, true. But you can bet he'll be trying to figure it out. This could shift the whole balance of the war. Of course. If you want to help stop that dragon, your best bet is to go to Solitude and join up with the Legion. Make a good case. Maybe I will join up. I hope so. The Legion is Skyrim's only hope right now. Come on, we better get moving. Well, I mean, I can't really start moving right now, but... Okay, um... <sighs> I wonder if I can drop this off here and still be able to get it later. I honestly don't know. Be hilarious if that's the case. No? Okay. Shit. Well. What the. Um. Hi. Gerder. I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. Those werewolf tales are true. Okay. Fair enough. I. I. Okay. Well. Um. We, uh, we have a bit of a problem here. Um, another thing that being over-encumbered does is quickly increase your fatigue while also eliminating any stamina you have. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> it's going to become a bigger one as time goes on. So... Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to end the episode here for right now. And we're going to figure out how to fix this in a second. <laughs> uh, I don't want to drop everything I'm carrying, currently carrying. <laughs> uh, or sell some of it off. But I might have to if I have no choice. So... That's, uh, that's a thing I'll figure out on my own. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, I might look into a mod to add a smelter to Riverwood. Because there's probably one sitting around somewhere. And if I have one, then I'll be able to melt down the weapons into their base components. And I, then I don't have to worry about the uh, weight issue too much. But that for the future right now it's time to end thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video and share and comment so we can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and i will see y'all in the next episode this has been the one and only stray cat playing games and doing the survival shtick while uh doing skyrim uh which i've already explained many of the key differences some of them i still have to wait until uh we run into cold weather before i can show you but uh it is it is significantly different and it is definitely going to be a bit of a challenge for me but uh we'll see how it goes for you